A hoax is something that is intended to deceive or trick an audience. For the most part, we are able to detect when something in the media is only a hoax, but in the past, people are very gullible and naive. But sometimes these hoax, it's like you don't really know because they're just good. Like there's a good story behind it, which makes it so believable. So here's the top 10 greatest hoaxes of all time. Starting off in this list at number 10 with the left handed whopper. Back in 1998, Burger King published a full page advertisement in the USA Today that announced that they have launched a brand a new item, the left handed whopper. This caused thousands of customers to come into their fast food restaurants to request a new whopper while they were outraged that they didn't get a right handed whopper. I mean why are you only offering it for the left handed people? The next day Burger King issued a statement saying that the left handed whopper was indeed a hoax. They claimed that the left handed whopper had the same ingredients but the condiments were just rotated 180 degrees in order to cater to left handed people. Now at number 9 we have the spaghetti tree hoax. There was a 3 minute segment that aired on April Fool's Day in 1957 on BBC that showed a family in the cellar in Switzerland harvesting spaghetti from a spaghetti tree. At the time the UK had little knowledge about how spaghetti was made so a number of viewers contacted BBC asking them for advice on how to grow their own spaghetti tree. This is just sounds, this sounds so ridiculous. I mean is this real life right now? Decades later CNN called this broadcast the biggest hoax that any reputable news established ever pulled off. Hitler's Secret Diaries makes its way onto this list at number 8. In 1983 a German magazine forked out $3.8 million and purchased an unverified collection of Hitler's private diaries that had supposedly survived the war unscratched. The world was absolutely stunned and intrigued as to what Hitler has written. But once an actual historic appraiser got a hold of them, he revealed that these writings are just horrible forgeries. I mean, they're totally fake. I think the hint there was they were kept in mint condition after during a, like a war. It wasn't dirty, it wasn't scratched. I mean, come on, it couldn't be real. Coming at number 7, we have The Mass Marauder. The editor of Rolling Stone magazine wanted to try an experiment. So in 1969, they printed a review about a fake album by a non existent band called the Mass Marauders, which they claimed was a group included with Bob Dylan, Mick Jagger, John Lennon, and Paul McCartney. But they are playing under fake names. Rolling Stone then took this experiment one step further, hiring a band to record a full album posing as this fake band. Well, the Mass Marauders spent 12 weeks on the Billboard's chart and sold more than 100,000 copies. I mean, not bad for a band that didn't even exist. Number 6 brings us to the little boy trapped in an air balloon. I remember this one. This was in October of 2009. Richard Heen caused a lot of media attention when he claimed that his 6 year old son was trapped inside of a runaway gas balloon. People all over America were tuned into the news channel to watch this live event as the balloon flew through the sky with the child stuck inside. Well as it turns out this was actually a hoax. The child was actually he was just home safe and sound but his father had spent the next 90 days in jail and had to pay $36,000 for wasting the time of rescue personnel. It was so stupid. I mean, people were actually really concerned about this kid. Paul McCartney's death comes in at number 5. Rumors quickly spread around the world in September of 1969. Paul McCartney had died and he was replaced with a lookalike. The story came to be when a writer of a university newspaper pointed out of various clues about Paul's death in the Beatles albums, artwork, and song. Paul McCartney agreed to do an interview for Life magazine so that he can end these rumors, but people still believe that this Paul McCartney is not the real Paul. The famous photo of the Loch Ness Monster is now at number Number four. In 1934, this famous photograph was viewed by many people from across the world. This picture seemed to be indisputable proof of the Loch Ness Monster did exist. Well, decades after the photo was released, people still believe that this picture was authentic until it was revealed by the photographer that this was only a toy submarine with a wooden head attached. But despite his confession, so many people believe that this picture is indeed real. Next up, number three, we have the Piltdown Man. Ever since Charles Darwin theorized about the process of evolution, the search for the missing link from ape to human was highly desired. Well, in 1912, it was announced that the missing link was found. It was discovered by Charles Darwin, who was an amateur geologist who dug up the skull in Pitt Down, England. Scientists all agreed that this skull was authentic and it proved apes evolved into humans. Well, 40 years later, in 1953, fluorine testing revealed that the skull was modern and it was actually constructed from the jaw of orangutan, a human cranium, and a filed down chimp teeth. Some people believe that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock Holmes was behind this hoax. The Roswell Alien Autopsy comes in at number 2. On August 28th, 1995, 10 million Americans watched the Fox Network who was airing a grainy and badly shot black and white film of a recently deceased alien being dissected by scientists after a UFO crash in Roswell in 1947. However, 2006, it was admitted that the film it was just a hoax and it was not authentic. It was staged and the alien was filled with knuckle joints, sheep brains, and chicken remains. I mean, that's 
that's just so disgusting. It was claimed that a billion people saw this footage and believed that it was real. Well, actually, some people still believe that this is real and the government is just trying to cover it up. And finally, at the number one spot, we're talking about crop circles. For years, many people believed that crop circles was caused by extraterrestrial life because humans did not have the tools to make something as perfect as this. This photograph was taken in 1985 and it shows crop circles in a field in Wiltshire, England. Well, in 1991, Doug Bauer and Dave Corley admitted to creating every single crop circle since 1978. They used wood planks and rope and they only did it because they were bored. Well, there you guys have it. Let me know if any of these ones fooled you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys very soon in a new Most Amazing Top 10 video.